بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس نائنت ہوپ آل آف یو آر فائن سٹوڈنٹ وی ور اسٹڈنگ دا نیوٹریشنل ریکوائرمنٹ آف ہیومنس اینڈ ادر اینیملس ایز این انرجی سورس اینڈ وی اسٹڈیڈ دا کاربوہائیڈریٹس وچ پرووائڈ فور کلو کیلوریز پر گرام انرجی اینڈ لپڈس وچ پرووائڈ نائن کلو کیلوریز پر گرام انرجی اینڈ دا لیس کامنلی لیس کامنلی یوزڈ سورس آف انرجی از proteins what are proteins proteins are composed of amino acids and proteins provide only four kilocalories of energy only when the other two sources that is the carbohydrates and the lipids are not uh, present in the adequate amount then the uh, there comes the turns of protein to provide the energy these proteins are first converted into the carbohydrates and then they provide energies and the amount of energy as i told you is 4 kilocalories per gram protein we studied in the chapter 4 that is the important component of the cytoplasm cell membrane cell organ uh, organelles and it is also the major component of muscles ligaments tendons uh, so uh, we say we can say that proteins are very important for growth our hairs are proteins our nails are protein so if uh, we want a normal growth of a body then the nutritional requirement is uh the protein must be provided in our diet to uh, compensate the nutritional requirement proteins also play important role as an enzymes because enzymes are made up of proteins we can say that enzymes are protein in nature there are different sources from which we can obtain this proteins are meat eggs grains legumes and diet dairy products such as milk cheese the other components of human diet are minerals what are minerals minerals are inorganic elements that originate in the earth but they cannot be made by the body so body has to take it from the environment through the diet minerals play very important role in various body functioning so it is necessary to maintain the health most of the minerals which human diet uh, contain uh, from where the most of the minerals comes in the human diet are from the plants from water because water contains also minerals mineral water indirectly from animals also now there are two categories of minerals major minerals and trace minerals major minerals are those minerals which are required 100 mg or more per day as nutritional requirement and the trace and the example of trace minerals are iron zinc copper chromium fluoride iodine now in this table table 8.2 which is on page number 144 we see the role of these minerals in the body first of all the role of major minerals in the body as we know and we have studied in the chapter 4 about the sodium potassium channels sodium potassium pump which are present in the membrane which causes the balance in the fluid balance in the body so the role of sodium and potassium in the body is to maintain the fluid balance in the body and it also helps in the absorption of other nutrients along with it it act as a potassium act as a cofactor for enzymes also and chloride which is component of the hydrochloric acid provides the uh, chloride component and it also maintains the fluid balance in the body these three major minerals which are sodium potassium chloride they are also important for proper muscles contraction it for important for the nerve impulses and transmission heart functioning and blood pressure calcium as we know are important for development and maintenance of bones and teeth and it also help in blood clotting magnesium and phosphorus are important for the development and maintaining maintaining of bones and teeth along with the calcium now the role of trace minerals iron zinc copper chromium fluoride and iodine in the body 
Iron, as we know, is important in oxygen transport and storage. Zinc is important in insulin action. It helps in the insulin action and helps in the growth and reproduction. Now, these two component, which are iron and zinc, uh, together form the important factor of the immune system. So, it supports the immune functioning and it act as a enzyme cofactors. Cofactors are those components which, along with the enzymes, help them to uh, proper functioning of the enzyme. Now, copper act as enzyme cofactor also. Chromium helps in the insulin action. Fluoride stabilizes bone mineral and hardens hardens tooth enamel. Iodine is essential for normal thyroid functioning. Now the role of calcium and iron. The first paragraph is the role of calcium and the second paragraph on page 145 is the role of iron. First of all the role of calcium. As we know that calcium is essential for the development and maintaining of bones and teeth. This is the major function of the calcium. There are some maintaining cell membranes, connective tissues, activation of several enzymes and blood clotting. Now what are the sources from which human body can get calcium? We can get calcium from milk, cheese, egg, yolk, beans, nuts, cabbage etc. Now the deficiency of calcium causes various uh, diseases in the body which are involuntary uh, discharge of impulses co which causes the contraction of the muscles and results in the tetany, muscle spasm. Bones also becomes weak due to the calcium of the uh, deficiency and becomes soft. The blood clotting occurs slowly and the, the wound's healing becomes slowly due to the deficiency of calcium also. Iron as we know plays a major role in oxygen's transport and storage. It is a major component of hemoglobin in the red blood cells and myoglobin in the muscle cells. When we see the structure of the hemoglobin then iron is in the center of this uh, protein. And in case of myoglobin, it is also the part of the protein. Myo means muscles globin, muscles globin protein. Cellular energy uh, production also requires iron. So uh, when we uh, study the process of respiration which takes place in the mitochondria, so we see that iron helps at different steps and act as a cofactor for various enzymes in cellular respiration also. Iron supports immune functioning. Human uh, can get this iron as a uh, what are the sources from which we can get this iron are red meat, egg yolk, whole wheat, fish, spinach, mustard etc. The dense deficiency of iron causes the anemia. Now vitamins. Vitamins are also important nutritional uh, components. Uh, vitamins are the chemicals that are required in low amounts but are essential for normal growth and metabolism. Now vitamins are of two types, fat soluble vitamins and the water soluble vitamins. Fat soluble vitamins are A, D, E and K and water soluble vitamins are vitamin B and C. The uh, uh, fat soluble vitamins, if we compare the fat soluble vitamins and the water soluble vitamins, then we see that cooking or overheating uh, destroys the water soluble vitamins more readily than the fat soluble vitamins. And when we uh, compare the discharge uh, of both these water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins from the body, we see that water soluble vitamins uh, level drops in the body more readily due to the discharge of uh, them from the body. So the water soluble vitamins decreases more quickly and leading to vitamin A. Vitamin A which is a fat soluble vitamin and it was first vitamin that was identified in 1930. Vitamin A combines with opsin protein to form rhodopsin in the rod cells of the retina of eye and this helps in the uh, this help to see in the dim light the lack of rhodopsin makes it difficult to see in the dim light 
this rhodopsin uh, sorry this vitamin a also helps in the cell differentiation cell differentiation is the process in which the embryonic cell transforms into the mature cells with specific functionings vitamin a also supports bone growth and immune functioning now there is a table table 8.3 on page 146 which tells very clearly what are the sources of vitamin a what are the functions which are performed by the vitamin a that is vision in dim light cell differentiation growth of the body and immunity and the symptoms which are uh, caused by the deficiency of this vitamin a is poor growth blindness and dry skin now the second vitamin is vitamin c which is also called ascorbic acid this vitamin participate in many reactions and it is needed to form collagen which is a fibrous protein that gives strength to the connective tissue collagen is also needed for the healing of wounds and vitamin c in white blood cells enables the immune system to function pro properly the there are different sources from which we can obtain this vitamin c which are leafy green vegetables beef liver oranges lemons grapefruits etc now there are different diseases which are caused uh, which can, we can also see in this table uh, by the deficiency of vitamin c are scurvy what are the symptoms of scurvy fatigue poor wound healing bleeding from gun, gums and joints vitamin d the sources of vitamin c are fish liver oil milk ghee and butter and synthesized by skin also when exposed to the sunlight it plays important role in the maintenance of the concentration of the calcium and phosphorus and deficiency causes rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults now children hope so that it will be very much clear in the mind or the role of these important nutritional components please write down in your notebook and memorize them and if you have any question regarding the lecture you can contact me on my personal number thank you allah hafiz